Good morning, Novi, and welcome to the Cat's Eye News. I'm Darren Baydoun. In school news, there is a volunteer opportunity available to sign up for a two-hour shift and work with friends to ring Salvation Army kettlebells from now until winter break. In national news, President-elect Donald Trump has accused U.S. intelligence agencies of leaking false allegations that Russia has compromising material on him. The allegations are unsubstantiated and claim that Russia has very sensitive videos of his private life. Intelligence agencies considered the claims relevant enough to brief both Trump and President Obama last week. BuzzFeed broke the story on Tuesday by publishing all of the allegations. Trump responded by calling the reports nonsense and even went as far as to say that it's, quote, something that Nazi Germany would have done. Second semester preview sessions for AP Macroeconomics will take place after school in room 208 from 210 to 310 today, Thursday, January 19th, and Thursday, January 26th. These sessions are strongly encouraged for students who are in AP, AP Macroeconomics second semester but didn't take AP Microeconomics first semester or who haven't had general economics yet. In other national news, President Barack Obama has defended his decision to free WikiLeaks source Chelsea Manning 29 years before her scheduled release. He said in his final news conference that justice has been served. Manning, who was sentenced to 35 years for leaking diplomatic cables to WikiLeaks in 2010, which was one of the largest breaches of classified material in U.S. history. The commutation of her sentence has been attacked by Republicans as sending the wrong message, with House Speaker Paul Ryan saying the move sets a dangerous precedent. Novi Deca competed this weekend at Lakeview High School. Many students placed high in their events, which ranged from finance, marketing, and hospitality and tourism. Congratulations to all who competed. For those who have passed on to the state level, packets are due to either Mrs. Cliff or Mrs. Forrester. In other news relating to Trump, the White House said the president has agreed to honor the so-called One China policy in a phone call with Chinese President Xi Jinping. The One China policy is the diplomatic acknowledgement that there is only one Chinese government. Trump had placed a long-standing policy in doubt when he spoke with Taiwan's president in December. China sees Taiwan as a breakaway province to be reunified with the mainland. The move was a major break from traditional protocol and provoked an official complaint from China. The telephone conversation was the first between the two since Trump took office on January 20th, though the new U.S. president has called several other national leaders in that time frame as well. The spring musical Fiddler on the Roof will be hosting a second round of casting. There are several speaking and ensemble roles still available. If interested, come to the choir room or auditorium after school or contact director Ms. Rashid. The International Talent Show is set for March 17th this year. If you're interested in being in the show, pick up a registration packet from Mrs. Cliff during lunch. They are due back March 1st. Since all proceeds are donated to an international charity, students can earn volunteer hours for being in the show. Gardening Club and Relay for Life are hosting a charity event with proceeds going to cancer research. You can purchase roses and cards for someone you love or appreciate at all lunches today. They will be delivered to the recipient during fourth hour on Valentine's Day next Tuesday the 14th. Prices start at $1.